Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee Today, and today is Foundation Friday, where I review foundations and let y'all know how long they really last and if they work well for oily skin. Now today's victim is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I've heard great things about this foundation, especially for oily skin, so I really wanted to try it, and that's what we'll be doing today. Now the box claims that this is a hydrating foundation and it was made for photo shoots that you look and feel amazing throughout the whole 15 hour shoot. Now that is a very long claim time. I will not be able to wear this foundation for 15 hours and come back for you guys, but I will wear it for as long as possible and we'll see how well it does. Cause ain't nobody got time for 15 hours. But it also says it's going to give you medium to full coverage. It's oil free, it's supposed to control your oils all day. That's the main test. Oh, sweat, humidity, and exercise resistant. So for all you glam girls that go to the gym with your lashes and your contour and your highlight, this just might be your best friend. It also claims to be color true, meaning it shouldn't oxidize or change colors throughout the day. Transfer resistant, that's a big one because everybody hates when you hug somebody and then you get your makeup on their shirt and you have to act like you didn't do it and you have to run away really fast. Like it just gets really awkward. And it also is supposed to have a demi matte finish. Now this is the bottle comes in, a little glass bottle. It has a pump nozzle, which I absolutely love. And it has one fluid ounce, just like the rest of the foundations I've reviewed. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation. Let's get started. I just put on my moisturizer by Neutrogena and now I'm going to use my Veil Mineral Primer. This is one of my favorite primers for oily skin, so if this foundation does not work with this, I don't know what will. Now I've heard really good things about this foundation, so I really hope it works. Let's go ahead and shake it up. And I'm using a damp beauty blender to apply this. So I'm just gonna put, let's do it one good pump and see what that does. Here we go for the color match. Okay, it's kind of like the orangey color that a lot of foundations are for me. This is very similar to the shade of the infallible that I used, but not the infallible price. One pump gave me a pretty sheer coverage, but let's see if this is buildable. So I'm going in for pump number two. There's my first layer. I think it is pretty sheer. It's definitely going on very matte. I'm not shiny or dewy at all, but I do want to add some more to get some more coverage where I have some darker spots. So I'm gonna do one more pump. I'm going to apply of the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. So now let me finish the rest of my face. <sighs> now we're talking. So overall, I think the foundation does look really nice right now. I'm definitely matte. I'm not shiny or dewy at all. Um, it says it's supposed to be a demi matte, but I think I'm kind of getting like a full matte from this, or at least my powder is helping out with that. And the color ended up working out fine for my skin tone. But fortunately, there are a total of 22 shade ranges for this foundation and six of them are darker than my skin tone. Now usually when I do my foundation Fridays, it's usually only like two or three colors darker than my skin tone. So I'm so happy to say that there are six additional options past me. I got my Smashbox foundation from Sephora. It was $42 and it's also available at Ulta, Macy's and Nordstrom's. So now it's time for the main test, which is to see how long this foundation really lasts, especially on oily skin. The box is claiming 15 hours, but we gonna see about that. So it is currently 1.30 p.m. I'll be back at the end of the day, and I'll show you how shiny or not I am. And I'm back. It is now 11 p.m., so I've had on this foundation for nine and a half hours. So I didn't get to go all the way to 15, but this is still a pretty long time, and look at my face. I'm actually very surprised at how well this did. This is technically at least the second or third time that I've worn this foundation this week. And the first two times I was kind of like, whatever about it. But today, now that I've really paid attention to it, it did a really good job. So now I'm thinking like, what did I do different today? Maybe I just did a better job at setting it. I did set my face with my Laura Mercier powder, but 
It looks really good. But now I'm gonna get my oil absorbing sheets per usual, and this is going to test how much oil it actually controlled. So let me just go ahead and blot. Look at that, that's not a lot for the first pat. Usually in one pat, I'm like drenched. Oh, I don't know guys. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised. So this is the oil that came up on my skin. Uh, it really wasn't that much and there's no makeup on here, which is always a good sign. You never want the makeup to come off on the absorbing sheet. It's just supposed to take the oil, which really does attest to it possibly being transfer proof. Probably should have hugged somebody today to test that theory out. Overall, the Smashbox Studio Skin does live up to the hype of lasting a very, very long time, controlling oil and being transfer proof. It did keep me very matte all day and after I blotted, after nine and a half hours, my skin looks really, really good. And I think this definitely deserves a spot in at least my top three favorite high-end foundations. At this point, I would have to say that my top three are the Hourglass Infallible, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and now the Smashbox Studio Skin. So I'm probably gonna have to do some side-by-side -side comparison battles between them to see which one keeps me the most matte, but I'm very satisfied with this purchase. If you wanna see me continue to use this foundation to see if anything changes throughout the week, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee, and make sure to push that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I review new foundations on Fridays, and I do curly hair product videos on Sunday, so I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.